what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today I'm coming at you with a December Q&A video. So it's been a while since I've actually just sat down and filmed because I've been extremely freaking sick. Like back to back sickness is like one after another. The doctor at Urgent Care literally told me this isn't even normal. Like I need to see a different doctor because there may be something wrong with my immune system. I. I don't know, but it sucks when you film, like that's your job, like plus this is what I love to do and you feel like you can't because you sound terrible and you keep coughing and sneezing and that's awesome. Plus I just had finals, but no one cares. We're gonna get into the actual questions you guys asked me on Twitter. What was your first thought when you woke up this morning? I don't wanna get out of my bed, but I do not wanna fail my final. <laughs> Those were like my two thoughts and I debated on if I should get up right then or if I should hit the snooze button, which I hit the snooze button. What was the last lie you told? Probably telling my friend I was on my way when I didn't leave for another like 15 minutes. Would you be willing to eat a bowl of crickets for $70,000? Are the crickets dead or alive? Because that makes all the difference. If they're dead and I don't have to eat a lot of them, I would probably do it. If they're alive, there's no way in hell I'd ever do that unless I could kill them first. And I know that sounds gross, but it's $70,000 like YOLO. Is what you're doing now what you always wanted to do growing up? Yes and no. No, because I never really knew this was a possibility, like YouTube could be a career path or you could do social media for a living. But yes, because I've always envisioned myself doing something like this. Would you ever take back someone who cheated? I've done that and it was probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done and I would highly encourage anybody who's in that situation to leave them. What makes you feel accomplished? What everything's on fleek like my house is clean my grades are good I have videos ready to go. I'm streaming. I'm showered. I've eaten like, you know, my life is just together What do you think of best friends of the opposite sex? I think that you're never just friends at some point one liked the other or the other liked the other like there's always feelings somewhere at some point throughout the friendship, even if it's one-sided. That's my personal opinion. That might not be a popular opinion, but I definitely think that's what I believe to be true and that's what's happened in every single friendship I've ever had with a guy ever. Ever. What are your thoughts on online dating or Tinder? I'm not gonna lie, I've downloaded Tinder a couple times. It never really worked for me. I didn't really give it a chance. I didn't really want to give it a chance. I just sort of did it because my friends did it and I've never been the type of person who liked meeting people online, whether it was Instagram or whatever, just because I feel like people can be a lot different in person. Maybe they're like less outgoing and it's really awkward because you were expecting them to like hold a conversation like they did in text. So it's just not for me, but I think for some people it works. If you could live in any book, TV show, or movie, what would it be? Harry Potter, hands down. What's something too serious to joke about? I'm one of those people who laughs at everything, but rape jokes will never be funny to me. In what ways are you the same as your childhood self? I'm extremely naive. I will believe anything. I'm really trusting in people. I just have a kid heart. You know what I mean? I'm really playful and I haven't really grown up too much to be honest. How do you define love? Putting somebody else before yourself and unconditional loyalty in love, not giving up on that person, even if you know that you have to, like in your heart, you don't really give up on them. What are some words of wisdom you would pass on to your childhood self? Honestly, I would just send my kid's self the link to my YouTube channel and have them watch my videos because you can learn a lot from them. <laughs> opinion on the modeling industry. I'm not a model, so I don't really have an opinion because I can't speak for something I've never been personally involved in, you know? Because there's a bad and good side to everything, including YouTube, which is what I do have an opinion on. But no one asked me that question. They asked me about modeling. I honestly just don't have an opinion. I think that body shaming is really bad, but I know that not all modeling agencies do that. Can you go on tour? I am not big enough to do that. I would love to. I would love to meet more of you guys. But hey, maybe one day I'll do that with like a group of people, like a group of YouTubers. And we'll just go out and we'll just meet a bunch of subscribers and have a blast like basically one big vacation that would be lit maybe that could happen in the future can you ever see yourself just being a normal college kid who's not a popular youtuber um i don't see myself as a college kid who's not normal at all uh that's what i was last year before i really started my channel and honestly it doesn't make a difference in my life like i'm still a college kid i still hang out with my friends it doesn't impact me i'm not like an la youtuber where that's like my entire lifestyle you know how important are we for you you guys are everything for me everything i would be nothing without you and thank you so much for all the questions by the way how tall are you i'm like five six or five seven would you ever perform in front of a crowd of people perform what like i can't sing like i'm not talented what do you mean i could just talk in front of people 
I do not have stage fright. I'm not afraid to speak in front of an audience. Public speaking does not scare me, it does the opposite. So yeah, definitely. Aside from astrology, what other things do you like along those lines? I guess you mean like kind of deeper things. I don't know. I like dream interpretation stuff, like knowing what your dreams possibly mean. I think that stuff's really interesting too. Would you ever want to write, produce, and be in an online show about your life like Haters Back Off? I love Miranda Sings and that show is hilarious, but honestly, I don't think so. I would rather put out content that I want to put out. Not that she's not doing that, but you know, it's scripted. It's more of like acting and I'm definitely not an actress. What is the most trouble you've ever been in? I feel like that depends on the context. If you mean at school, you mean grounded wise with my parents, if you mean with like police or something. So like rephrase that question and I'll answer it next time. Would you survive a zombie apocalypse? I sure hope so. I mean, I would like to think so. I feel like whenever I'm watching those type of movies, I'm always thinking in my head how stupid the characters are. Like if they just would have hit over there, they just would have like taken the back way or whatever. So I feel like, you know, I, I feel like I, I feel like I'd survive. What's the strangest thing you've been sent? Okay, well, I posted this on my Snapchat today, but somebody sent me a smoking device, like a way to smoke weed. I don't know, it's a 21 plus, so I'm assuming that's what it was for. Like, I don't really know, I live in California. But yeah, like, I don't even smoke. It was called Puff Pass or something? Traveling Puff, Traveling Puff. So maybe I'll insert a picture on the screen. Smoke weed every day. What's one thing your parents don't know about you to this day? I feel like there's more than one thing, but I feel like over time they're gonna figure out a lot of things, you know, as I get older because it's like I can't get in trouble for this stuff anymore. And my mom's the first view in like all my videos because she always wants to know like what she didn't know, I guess, back in the day. If you had to date a YouTuber, who would it be? Kian? Kian is daddy. Kian. <laughs> He's been my fave. He's so hot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrea Russell. I love Kian. Would you marry Donald Trump if it meant he wouldn't be president anymore? No, I'm not trying to marry a really old man. I'm sorry. I can suck it up for a few years. I can, I think I'll survive. Have you ever experienced something you cannot explain? Paranormal. Yes, the other night in my car, and I'm going to do a dedicated video on that because it was that creepy. And if you guys saw my Snapchat story, you know what I'm talking about. What's your biggest inspiration? Uh, I guess I'm inspired by the fear of being average. That's an Anna Campbell's bio on YouTube, but I already like knew that quote. I had already been saying that for years, so I did not copy her. If you had a chance to go back in time, where would you go and what would you do? Lottery tickets don't count, lol. I would probably go to the Justin Bieber concert over summer because some stuff fell through and I couldn't go last minute and it really sucked, but it was sort of my choice and I wish I would have done what it took and just like sucked it up and like still went because it would have been a lot of fun and i was like really looking forward to it have you ever messaged a guy something you completely regretted and if so what did you say i told somebody i loved them like this whole freaking thing and then afterwards i was just like why did i do that like i'm gonna ruin the friendship it was fine it was just like really dumb i don't know i don't know why i did it it was like out of nowhere and looking back it's like did i even really mean it you know what i mean like one of those things where you're all up in your feelings you get a call from an anonymous person they say go behind a tree there's an ipad on the ipad there's a video the video says we kidnapped this girl there is one million dollars on the picnic table behind you if you take the money she dies if you don't she lives what do you do well, this sounds really bad. At first, I wanted to say I would not take the money. I would make sure the girl lives. But here's the thing. What if it's a prank? What if there's no girl who was actually kidnapped? It would just depend, like, how it went. You know what I mean? Like, what if the money's not even there? What if it's Monopoly money? Like, you don't know. Are you going to VidCon 2017? Yes, I am. I'm so stoked. It's my first YouTube event ever, and I can't wait to meet you guys and hang out with all the creators and stuff. Have you ever considered doing something super crazy like skydiving? Yes, but the thing is... That's not even crazy to me. I don't know what would be considered crazy to me because I'm a daredevil, like I'll do anything. If you were to collab with Tana, what video would you make? Probably a really vulgar one, a really inappropriate one that I wouldn't normally put on my channel, but like, I feel like we'd have to do something like that because it's Tana. <laughs> have you ever texted the wrong person something? One time I was talking to this guy, we'll call him Tyler, and I texted him when I meant to text my neighbor saying, Tyler's so hot, oh my God. I sent it to him. So then I had to continue the conversation in third person acting like I meant to do that when I totally didn't. It was so embarrassing. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Also, if you want more, subscribe and smash the bell button next to the subscription button even if you already are subscribed because that way you get notifications and YouTube sucks. They have not been notifying anybody when anyone uploads. So yeah, that way you're part of notification squad.
what was that? That was not a hashtag. And if you guys do not follow me on Twitter, go ahead, Instagram, like everything, you know. But I do Q&As usually on Twitter. Maybe I'll do a Snapchat next time. But if you guys have questions you want to see in my next video for a Q&A, like in January, leave them below on here. I will reference back to this video in case you do not have those social media platforms. I will see you guys next time. Later, alligators. Bye.